what is sickle cell anemia? Normal disc-shaped red blood cells become sickle shape. These red blood cells are much more fragile than other red blood cells. Sickle cells easily rupture as they pass through small capillaries, resulting in chronic anemia. Sickle cells can get stuck in small capillaries of the body, obstructing blood flow. How is sickle cell inherited? Sickle cell anemia is carried on a recessive gene. A person must inherit the gene from both the mother and the father to have the disease. A person with a trait for sickle cell on only one gene does not experience any symptoms. Sickle cell crisis is a painful episode that may begin suddenly in a person who has sickle cell disease. It occurs when sickle-shaped red blood cells clump together and block small blood vessels that carry blood to certain organs, muscles, and bones. Prevention of exacerbation and crisis will include increased fluid intake, at least 8 to 12 glasses of water a day. Avoid places or situations that cause exposure to high altitudes such as flying or mountain climbing. Avoid extreme temperatures and avoid situations with exposure to low oxygen levels such as extreme exercises with camp training and athletic training. Somnandis for sickle cell anemia includes impaired gas exchange, can be related to the decreased oxygen carrying capacity and reduced lifespan of red blood cells, and manifested by dyspnea, restlessness, confusion, and cyanosis. Ineffective tissue perfusion related to vasoocclusive nature of sickling and inflammatory response can be manifested by changes in vital signs diminished peripheral pulses and cap refill, general pallor, decreased mentation, restlessness, and delayed wound healing. Acute pain related to intravascular sickling with localized stasis, occlusion, and infarction or necrosis can be manifested by decreased range of motion and guarding of the affected areas. Impaired skin integrity Related to impaired circulation and decreased mobility, this can be manifested by skin and tissue color changes and swelling around the affected areas. Complications Acute pain crisis, also known as vasoocclusive crisis, can occur without warning when sickle cell blocks the blood flow and decrease oxygen delivery. Silent brain injury is damage to the brain without showing outward signs of stroke. It can lead to difficulty in learning, making decisions, or holding a job. Eye problems. Sickle cells can injure blood vessels in the eyes as well as in other organs such as the kidneys, the heart, and the liver. Decreased oxygen flow will result in a condition called a vascular or a septic necrosis which severely damages the joints. What to teach your patient? Teach the patient to stay hydrated because dehydration can cause pain. Teach and encourage your patient to take folic acid supplements because this can help make new red blood cells. Vaccines should be given to decrease the chance of getting any infections. Let the patient know if their red blood cell count is too low, a blood transfusion may be recommended. Treatments of sickle cell anemia. One of the treatment options for a patient with sickle cell anemia can be rehydration with IV fluids, which help treat sickle cell anemia by returning the RBCs to a normal state. Dehydration can cause the RBCs to deform and form into a sickle shape. Another option is treating underlying or associated infections. The stress of infections can result in a sickle cell crisis. Another option can be blood transfusions, which help improve transportation of oxygen and nutrients. Payments are also given to relieve the pain during a sickle cell crisis.
What happens if sickle cell anemia is left untreated? Sickle cell anemia can be deadly if left untreated. Teenage boys with sickle cell anemia disease can have painful, long-lasting erections. If it is not treated quickly, damage can occur can cause problems with getting erections later on. Also, if sickle cell anemia is left untreated, a stroke may occur. Sickle cell anemia can block small blood vessels in your brain, causing a stroke. For teenagers, delayed growth may happen if left untreated and also heart and lung diseases may occur. You should see your doctor if you develop any of the following symptoms. A fever, which may indicate infections. Pain in the abdomen, chest, bones, or joints. Swelling in the hands or feet. Yellow tint to the skin or pale skin. Any signs or symptoms of a stroke.